Hey, what's going on? It's Vanessa Antoine. Welcome to my Toro Woman photo shoot. So today we worked with Vanessa Antoine, a very talented actress, in a show called uh, Being Erica, which most people would recognize her from. Working on set with Vanessa was um, such a pleasure, and she was just ready to work and collaborate and immerse herself in the world that we were creating for her today. So the concept in the world that we were creating today was mostly about being inside the mind of Vanessa. We had this uh, really interesting textured room uh, with these warm tones and this really interesting couch and these walls that were on foam core that we were able to manu maneuver and move around and really make the space versatile so that we can uh, manipulate it and change it into whatever size or shape that we wanted it to be. And uh, Vanessa just took that on and she, she rolled with it and she rocked it. Gorgeous. How do you feel, Vanessa? Comfortable? I feel great. <laughs> Amazing. Awesome! <laughs> The first dress that we had on set was really cool and beautiful and all this volume and all these layers and all this length. And what we did was we draped it over the couch and on the ground and it really added an extra element, an extra shape and extra layers and volume to the shoot. It had this beautiful shimmer and all these beautiful waves and texture. And um, I think it really helped Vanessa to interact with another element and grab the dress and like sort of make her feel very like royal and beautiful in, this, in the first look. The dress made Vanessa look very glamorous. It made her look like this woman that was in this fantasy world, um, in this like space that you have no idea where she is, why she's wearing these clothing, why she's on this destroyed couch. And it just raises all these questions that I think were really interesting. It really helped to give Vanessa uh, more character to pull from so that her expressions and her movement through the shoot was uh, more believable and, and more, more credible. <laughs> The second dress was this really cool shimmery gold um, dress. We ended up narrowing the walls for this one and made it as if she was in this really small space and put the couch in the center and she was laying. And the perspective was slightly like above so we got all the texture from like the couch and which was slightly out of focus and then it kind of moved over so it, it created all this texture in the foreground and then you see Vanessa in focus in this beautiful dress with all this texture um, and then the walls had all this texture so it was really this interesting photo that was full of all of these elements that I think really made it really interesting and dynamic. <laughs> So for the third look, we wanted to show off her legs. So we put her in this short shirt, put some underwear on her, and brought one of the boards on top, and as if like the ceiling had sunk in over her. That was a really good idea, actually, that Amy came up with, and I was like, yeah, let's do it. And uh, so that was really cool for that look. Hi. That last dress was so Chicago. Yes. That's what we should do. So for the fourth look, I wanted it to seem like uh, we were sort of walking in on her having this moment and she's very unaware of us. And I think that what also helped was that we took the couch away from her and put it in the background vertically, and uh, which was really cool because it looked like it was melting. And I wanted to continue with her in this very pensive state. So a lot of the photos were very low and in her perspective, very intimate with her. There was a lot of intimacy in this one I found that uh, really translated well. And we, what we did was we also pushed the walls back and opened up the space. So it was very airy, it was very open. It wasn't as claustrophobic or as intense as the other ones. This one allowed for more breathing room. And she also felt really comfortable and engrossed in this world that she was creating for herself. In this look, we had her in this black dress with this beautiful bustier that really showed off her chest really nicely because she has a beautiful, beautiful body. And I like the idea of raising the question as to why is this beautiful girl with this beautiful body in this vacant space? Um, and it just, you know, the audience just looks at it and says like, what is happening here? And those are the questions that I wanted to raise. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So I think overall today was a big challenge that we conquered because we were creating these different environments for Vanessa to interact with. Instead of putting her in existing environments, we sort of, you know, fashioned them and created them ourselves. Uh, and this also allowed Vanessa to dig deep and create all these characters and find these, these personalities and bring them out and translate them and communicate her state of mind in each shot to the audience. Guys, it's a wrap. That is so good. What a great finale. Yeah.